Hello there. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the second of this month Japan Celebration live Q&A where we talk Japan Celebration planning for the trip, for your first celebration. And we're back at it again today, guys. So um, any questions you guys have, be sure to drop your comments in the chat. If you're watching this on the replay, be sure to comment what your questions are, and I will reply to those comments. But yeah, guys, we are literally less than a year away. Right now, technically, would be day three of Japan. We're one year away from the last day. So pretty cool. We're pretty much under a year now before we'll be all potentially in Japan. <clears throat> so be sure to hit that like button. We got about 16 of you guys in here right now. I appreciate you guys. If any of you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I will be covering everything you need to know for Japan Celebration and all three days of the show while I'm there. So definitely, if that's something you're looking forward to, hit that subscribe button. All right. So let's start going through the chat. And again, be sure to drop your comments in the chat after you guys hit that like button, of course. So we got Danny Boy in the building. Hello there. What up, Danny? Welcome to the stream. I mean, you I think you dropped that comment yesterday afternoon. You might not even really be here, Danny. Night Dragon Horse, General Kenobi. What's up? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Darkwing Collections. What's up? Good morning from the land down under. What's up? How you doing? Jess, hello there. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I got to get this fan on. It'll get hot real quick in here under these lights. Rebel Scum in the building. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Chris is back. Hello. We got West Coast Lisi. Konnichiwa. Hello. Hello there. All right. First question of the day. <clears throat> Bronco, what's up? How much money would you save for the celebration store or autographs? That is a very tough question to, to answer. It depends on a multiple of things. So for the celebration store, it depends on what kind of merch you want to get. It depends if you're into like getting, you know, hats, T-shirts, pins, lanyards, cups, plushies. So that really depends on you, what kind of stuff you're getting. Um, so just keep that in mind. Like a lot of the t-shirts run usually like 25 to 35 bucks. I think the hats are like 25 bucks, something like that. Actually. <coughs> so let me, let me bring up a video real quick. I think for London, we got to see all the merch online and maybe that'll give you an idea of the pricing. Let me, uh, let me find this video real quick. So it should be in this playlist right here, possibly. Yes, right here. So this video right here, show store pricing revealed. Now this is for London, but Japan is going to be similar. So this video will give you a ballpark idea of the kind of stuff that they have in there. And then from that, you could kind of gauge, okay, I want to pick up maybe two T-shirts, maybe a jacket, maybe some pins. Then you could kind of budget for that. For I'm going to drop the link to that video in the, in the chat right now. As far as autographs, some people are on the lower end are like 60 to 80 bucks. On the higher end, it could be 250 300 up to 500 per person. Like if Mark Hamill was there, if Natalie Portman was there, that's a easy 500 Hayden is usually about 200, Hewan's about 250. So it really depends on who you want to get. But like somebody like Sam Whitworth might be 80 bucks. Tomorrow Morrison might be like 120. So for autographs, it varies. But in this video, we literally go through the entire celebration show store for London. So Bronco, watch this video and you could kind of see I go through all the merch in this video. So you can see there's the pins. And then I think we get into the other stuff too. There's some of the magnets right there, right? 
There is some of the t-shirts. So if you watch this video, you'll get a general idea of what kind of stuff you'll see in the Celebration Show store. And that will give you an idea. Okay, I want to, you know, get maybe one of this, one of this, one of that. That way you'll know how much to budget. But for autographs, bro, it just depends on who you want. And that could add up really quick. But definitely check out that video. I just dropped that link in the chat. So, uh, yeah, check it out. That should help. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, uh, what up, Sky Z? Just came across the channel around an hour ago. Nice. Love the vids. New favorite YouTuber. Bro, thank you so much, Sky Z. I appreciate that. Um, are you trying to go to uh, Japan as well for celebration? Let me know. But I appreciate the kind words. Be sure to hit that subscribe on both channels on Star Wars Sith and Sith Talk Podcast. Please and thank you. Personally, I'm trying to go there with a grand. Yeah, but like a grand can go quick depending on what you do. Or if you use it wisely, you could it could last you. It really all depends. So, yeah. Mike Wong, what's up? Hello from Singapore. Wow, Singapore in the building. That's what's up. RMD in the building. What up? In the future, how do you think day one went for celebration? What? What up? In the future, how do you think day one went for... Oh, you mean like how day one for Japan went? It's going to go good, bro. It's going to go really good. Uh, Jess says, I decided to give up trying for VIP. Going to use the money to visit all the nerd places. <clears throat> yeah, I see VIP is a hot topic for a lot of people. But honestly, like what most people don't realize is how nearly impossible it is to get. So say even if you're like, okay, I'm going to get VIP. I have the... How much was it again? The 973 saved up or whatever. Like, say you're like, okay, I'm going to do VIP. I have 993.25 plus taxes and fees saved up. Even if you have that money and you're ready to go, honestly, it's like a 90% chance you won't even get it. It's so hard and impossible to get. Like, literally, four celebrations in a row, I didn't even, I couldn't even get it into the cart. Like, so. That's just something to keep in mind that even if you want to get VIP, like you, you have to be like lucky, like lucky to get it. It's insane. So, yes. <laughs> but no, yeah, you, you'll have a blast. So like, like I mentioned on previous streams, you don't have to have VIP to have a blast. My first two celebrations were regular. The last two I got VIP secondhand and I had a blast as well. So, like, either way, as long as you're in the building, you're going to have the time of your life. As long as you like Star Wars, that is. What up, Louis? Konnichiwa. 10K by celebration. Bro, my goal is to have 10K by the end of June. So, I'm shooting for 10K by June 31st. And then I want to I wanna be at 20K by Christmas time, New Year's. And then for Japan, I don't know. We'll see how much I have by then. But I think the first few months of 2025, I think the channel is going to grow a lot because that's when we're going to get constant info for celebration. Like, you guys aren't even prepared. If you guys haven't, like, been to a celebration and, like, this is your first go around and stuff, literally the month to two months before celebration. So probably towards the end of February, mid-February, but March and early April, every week, two to three announcements and it would it would be like monday at noon they would reveal a guest wednesday at noon they would reveal a pin and a collectible friday they might reveal a panel so literally there's going to be so much news dropping the two months before and i cover everything i drop a video explaining and showing everything so you guys are in for a treat for sure paul what up paul how you doing man welcome to the stream <clears throat> what up mandy from wales uk do you have to create an account to buy tickets nope so if you have bought tickets in the past once you buy these new tickets and you put your email in it'll automatically recognize your show clicks account if this is your first time it automatically makes it for you so you don't have nothing to worry about literally when tickets go on sale you'll be on this site right here this, this button here that says coming soon, it'll say buy now or buy tickets. I forgot, something like that. You click it, it, and then it takes you to the screen. 
So um, I can show you guys real quick what that screen looks like because I think I have it in this video right here. <clears throat> so if you guys, I'm going to put the video for this in the chat too. This will be another one to help you, but you'll be in the queue, right? And it'll look like this. It'll be counting down till the tickets go live. And then once it goes live, the next thing you'll see is this, is this screen right here with all the ticket options. So then you'll just click whatever you want. Notice the second I got in, VIP was gone already. You'll click the tickets you want, and then you'll scroll down a little bit, and you'll see there's merch. Uh, come on, Ryan Reynolds. Come on, Deadpool. We're going to see the movie. <clears throat> but you'll see merch options. So literally when you're checking out, you can get a lanyard, the logo pin, the patch, uh, the logo t-shirt for women's, men's, and kids, the dad hat, which is like what I'm wearing right now. And in this video, I'm wearing the, the Chicago one um, or the key art shirt. So you can buy this stuff with your tickets. You don't have to. All that stuff will be in the show store as well. So it's really up to you. But like, I know I always get the lanyard. Like I have some of my lanyards here. So like this was from London. So this was like the London, the the London, the London lanyard. It's got Europe 2023 on it. So I always get the the lanyard to go on my badge, right? And then like Anaheim's, Anaheim's was dope too. Like this was the Anaheim lanyard, right? With the the key art on the side. So that key art is beautiful, but Anaheim. And then Chicago's was fire. One side is light side and then the other side was dark side and then chicago and oh where's my orlando one damn it thought i was prepared the Ola orlando one was the yavin metal and then so I always throw the lanyard in because I feel naked without it when I go. So that's kind of what the lanyard will look like. I'm sure the one for Japan will probably have like the key art on it and it's going to be gorgeous. But you'll see all these options when you check out. So when you do budget for tickets, maybe budget a little extra just in case you want to get something else. So but again, I dropped the link for this video in the chat. Definitely go check that out. Very useful, very helpful video if it's your first time getting tickets. <clears throat> uh, Paul says, anxious to see what saber you bought from Theory. Yes, yes. So actually, he actually is sending me this one. So the Shin one I bought, this one that I'm getting, he's actually sending it to me for review, which is awesome. So shout out to Theory for that. That saber will be here probably quick because the the Shin one came really, really quick. So I expect this one to be here the end of next week. So I'll get that video out probably that same day. But it's it's one I've been wanting for so long. I'm really, really excited for it. Uh, good evening from sunny Scotland. Let's go. Scotland in the building. No, but seriously, it's actually roasting here today. It's 16 degrees. That's roasting. Or, or you guys aren't like how we are here in the states, like, um, like Celsius and Fahrenheit or whatever. That stuff confuses me. Malakith, what up? Welcome to the stream. Nice chair stream. What? I'll try. Nice. Uh, what up? Didn't they have a couple low level people that did free autographs? So. For London, yes, it was. Uh, it was a. It was a. I forgot the 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 actor's name. She was a, a stormtrooper in the sequels, so she had free autographs. And then, oh my God, the um, Yak Face, the actor who was Yak Face in Return of the Jedi, he gave out free autographs too. But like, they kind of went really, really quick and really fast. So. It is possible. I don't. I don't remember Anaheim, or Chicago, or Orlando having anybody doing free autographs. I think London might be the first time. Well, at least the first time that I noticed it. 
So it is possible to get some free autographs. But again, most people, when they're thinking celebration, they want to meet the people they see in the movies and the shows and people they grew up with. So um, for sure, yeah, it's possible. <clears throat> Vandalorian, hello there. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Chris said 80% Star Wars Japan stuff, 10% booze, 10% food. That's hilarious. Christian, what's up? How many celebration stage events can one realistically expect to see if not VIP? So the celebration stage is so there's there's a bunch of different stages. Now, I think the celebration stage isn't that the, the live stage on the show floor that you just everyone can go to. Now, the other stages, oh, I forgot the freaking names. I know one was like the galactic stage and then the other stage. So basically there's usually one main panel each day right so there's a usually a big main main panel it's usually the 11 o'clock panel but since japan starts at nine no no no. what yeah since japan starts at nine the panel might be 10 a.m so there's usually one main panel that's like the lucasfilm panel or the ahsoka panel or the mando panel and for those, you have to enter a lottery, a raffle with your badge for a chance to get in. If you don't win, then there's usually a standby line and you, you might have a chance to get in. But if you have VIP, you have seats reserved. Now, every other panel is first come, first serve walk-in. So realistically, you can see as many panels as you want with the exception of maybe the one main panel that's raffle lottery only. So it really depends. And then the 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 celebration stage on the floor the live stage people just come up on random on there and they do little interviews so you could literally just hang out in that room and whenever they come out you might see them bring hayden out or hewing out so you don't need vip necessarily just to get to see everything it just helps you get in early get into the show store not waiting in line and then you have seats at the panels and then you get to skip the line for photos and autos. But if you don't have it, you literally can still pretty much do everything for the most part. And then hopefully you get lucky and win a chance to get into that main panel. More like 99% won't get VIP. <clears throat> That's true too, because since they're doing early access pre-orders to VIP pass holders from last year, I'm pretty sure they're going to sell 50% of the tickets the day before to previous pass holders. And then that's only going to leave 50% on the day of for VIP only. So it's going to, man, I don't know what to expect either way. As long as I get something, I don't care. I'm going to be happy just to get in the building. So <clears throat> two weeks till Phantom Menace release. I know I'm excited. It's super excited. Mike said, how's everyone with hotel bookings? It's all selling out. No, Mike, it's not. So, Every website you go to, it shows it as sold out. They're not even available. Literally, the second I left London Celebration a year ago, I've been checking, and it says that, but it won't let you even... So, like, Expedia... So, say we try to look for that weekend right now. There's, there's, It's, it's going to say all sold out. So, the ones by where is it at so yeah it's not even showing there's 15 hotels that are walking distance to the convention center it's like 10 15 different hotels all of them say sold out they haven't even they haven't even like uh like been opened up to the public yet to book so where is it at i should know this map like the back of my hand i've been looking at it so much right over here right where the heck is it at? So the convention center is... Where is it at, bruh? It's somewhere over here. I think it's like this area right here is the convention center. Yo, I'm tripping. Where is the Makuhari Misi convention center? Here it is. Here it is. Just kidding. This is it right here. So there's all these hotels, like, so it's right here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think there's more within here too. 
So it's I, like last time I looked, it was about 10. None of these hotels are available yet. So I'm not sure when I've, I've seen some people say it's like six months out. Um, maybe it's a year out. I, I mean, well, technically right now would be a year out. So I think it'll be soon. But Mike, the second these hotels are available, I will be dropping a video. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe because literally I checked this. I've been checking this stuff for the past year. I'm, I'm crazy. And the second they're available, one, I'm booking my hotel. And then two, I'm going to drop a video and let everyone know, hey, they're available. You can book it now. Also, we might get information when tickets go on sale, when the celebration, like, uh, celebration hotels are available to book. Because sometimes you could book through Star Wars Celebration and get a discounted rate. So we haven't got that info yet either. So literally, you'll have a chance to book it through Celebration or whatever travel site you want to use. So I've done it both ways. I've used Expedia in the past. And I've also done it through Celebration. Um, sometimes it's cheaper uh, through Celebration. Sometimes it's not. So you always want to check both. What up, John? John Gowdy. <clears throat> I remember Orlando 2017 sleeping in convent in queue, waking up, seeing Star Wars Muppets walking in, think they had VIP. Yeah, man. Yep, that was before they did raffles for all the panels. They let people line up overnight. Yeah, they're not open yet. No, for sure. Luke Linewalker. One browser I'll try three day and another I'll click on singles. Yeah, I think you'll be good. Honestly, like I mentioned in another stream, I would just get three single days because like, so I'm going to show you some of the, the past badge arts that I got. So Orlando, I did two single days, right? I did Thursday, Friday. So I got I got Poe and I got Kylo. So that was kind of cool getting two different badges, two different arts, right? But for Chicago and Anaheim, I did the five day and the four day. So for Chicago, it was Ray, which I mean, it is what it is. That's fine. But like, say if I would have got different days, I would have had different people. And for Anaheim, Anaheim wasn't my favorite badge art for the four day specifically. But that was Anaheim's four day. And then for London, I did the four day as well. And that was uh, Mando and Din. So in all the past, you would usually save a good like 30 to 40 bucks bundling and getting that. But for Japan, for some reason, you're not really saving much. You're saving, I think it's seven bucks. So honestly, if I were you and you want to go all three days, everybody ever on the day the tickets go live is going to be going for three day. You, you could probably smoothly get Friday, Saturday, Sunday, pay the extra seven bucks that you would have saved if you would have did this, and you're going to get three possibly dope badge arts. So it's really up to you. But if you go for three day and it sells out, don't stress it. Grab three single days real quick and you'll be good to go. Uh, Chris, you can start booking already. Many around my... Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I've been looking like crazy, so everything that I've seen has been saying sold out. Or if it does let you book this early, the prices are, like, ridiculous because it's super early. So, yeah, I mean, if you pay now, hopefully they don't charge you now and lock you in at that rate. Do you get collectible pins for the lanyard? Do I? One second. So I don't put them on my lanyard. I put them on my backpack. So for London, I actually completed the entire character pin set. So literally over the four days, I got every single character pin. I think it's like 60 of them. 
this was a pain, but I completed the entire set. I got the four chases from the blind boxes, the um, the incentive pins, like everything. So I put my pins on my backpack like this. But you could put them on your lanyard too. A lot of people have them on their lanyards for trading. But I'm a backpack guy. So in Japan, if you guys see me, you guys will probably notice me about my backpack first because I will be wearing probably this one. I'll probably bring this one out there completely full. And I'm going to have to buy a brand new backpack for the Japan pins that I'm going to end up getting while there. <clears throat> Riding Quest. What's up, bro? Pokemon Master, Pokemon Blue uh what kind of announcements do you think we will get during celebration so we'll probably get mando trailer for the movie ahsoka season two trailer maybe more info on what they have planned like with feloni's movie and any other future movies maybe some more future show announcements potentially um yeah, I I, just, I think they're really going to dive in to what Filoni's plan is and what he has with the Filoni verse. So I think it's going to be a lot of like stuff like what he has cooking, which I'm looking forward to. <coughs> uh, does the time difference mess when booking hotels? For example, if I wanted to book a hotel for Thursday, do I need to leave on Wednesday or Tuesday? If that makes sense, uh, just book the hotel for the exact day that you're going to need it. So like for me, when I leave Florida, I, I leave Orlando at Friday morning, but I get to Tokyo Saturday at four in the afternoon. So my hotel, I, I picked it for Saturday, not for Friday, not for the day I'm flying, but the day that I land over there, because when I get there, it'll be Saturday. But I'm leaving Friday morning at like eight. Uh, pre-sale pins, there's pre-sale only stuff. Yeah, sometimes they do that too, like the road to celebration. So they'll they'll let you know that the only way you could get this is by pre-ordering it. So when we get stuff like that, I cover that as well. Uh, what up, Daniel? Hey, Tony, as a Jehovah's Witness, I can't always make your lives due to act spiritual activities, but you're the best content creator for celebration that I've seen on here. Thanks for all that you do. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. That's literally why I started my channel was to cover Star Wars Celebration and at Anaheim, Anaheim Celebration was my very first video. If you go to my channel and to the oldest video, it's day one vlog at Anaheim 2022 was my very first video. I'll even show you real quick. So that's how I all started, just because I love Celebration. It's just so much fun. And the thing with Celebration is that everyone's just happy there. It's not like the toxic internet. Everyone is just having a good time. So my very first video right here, day one anaheim celebration so yeah man that's what i'm all about i like to help people out give them tips and tricks you know because this is where the fun begins but i appreciate you daniel thank you for the kind words <clears throat> what up benny first time catching your stream want to ask what kind of merch can we expect from the event so i don't know if you saw earlier but uh i dropped the link in the chat and it literally showed all where the hell is it it literally showed all oh, right here this video right here i'll drop it again in case you weren't here for that part but literally in this video we take a look at everything in the celebration show store for london so literally japan's going to be very similar that way you can have an idea of what you'll see and what it costs so i just dropped that link in the chat benny check it out but you'll see all the merch that they have, the shirts, the hats, the hoodies, the bottle openers, the picture frames, like a bunch of stuff. So um, let's see, let's see, let's I can get out of this. Yeah. <coughs> what, uh, what up, Pacey? What's the chances of Mark Hamill attending? Honestly, I don't know. I don't really think it's good. Because, like, you know, he is getting older in age. He still does shows. But, like, is he going to want to sit on, like, an 18-hour flight to Japan? I don't know about that. I think I think there's a better chance he's going to show up at the next celebration in the States. But Japan, I don't know. I would love to be wrong and for him to show up, and that would be amazing. But I wouldn't, like, count on him for sure. What up, Mandy? How you doing? 
Thank you. You are fab. Where do you think they will have celebration next after Japan? So my predictions, and you know what the crazy thing is? Literally, we are exactly 365 days away from knowing this answer. Because literally today in a year is day three of celebration. And at every celebration, the very last panel is called the closing ceremonies panel. And at that panel, they announce when and where the next celebration is. So literally, we are exactly 365 days from knowing the truth of this question. But my, my if I'm a betting man, I would say 2026 and 2027, both in the States back to back since it hasn't been here in a while. And what I want selfishly is I wanted to go back to Chicago for 2026 because Chicago was my favorite. And then I want 2027 for the 50 year anniversary of a new hope to be at Orlando. That way the parks can do like a 50 year anniversary of star Wars at the same time. So I, I have a feeling the next ones will be in the States 2027 for sure. Cause it's the 50 year anniversary, but I think 2026 because of the movies that are going to be dropping twin sons. Oh, twin sons. You're right. Twin sons and galaxy stage, right? Those are the two stages. Isn't Twin Suns the main stage and then Galaxy's the one with the TV just to view it? And then the celebration stage is the live stage on the floor. Rosa, what's up? How you doing? Shout out to Dana, channel member for 11 months. Hey, Dana, how you doing? What's up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Jess says, I have a bad feeling about the good hotels ending up with no rooms as soon as the reservations are up. I'm constantly lurking. So one thing I learned. If you do, if you don't get the hotel you want, right, and you and you book through somewhere where they don't charge you and you could cancel for free, that's why I use Expedia. So for London, all the hotels were gone instantly. So I was like, shit, like what am I gonna do? So I ended up getting a hotel that was a little ways away, but I, I locked it in because I needed a hotel. But closer to London, more and more rooms became available because I think there were a lot of people that booked rooms they didn't need or maybe they booked it thinking they were going and didn't go. So my hotel for London switched about five times over like a few months period. So that's one thing. When hotels are available, book something for that peace of mind to have something locked in. If you get the one you want, great. But if you don't, just Keep checking because people are going to cancel, switch, last minute, and rooms will pop up. So literally, I went from my London hotel being like 15, 25 minutes away via train to literally right next to the convention center, the, the, the next train stop from the convention center. Basically, we could we could have walked. And I think we did the first time, but we, we just took the train because literally it was just one stop. It was super easy. So for the hotels, keep that in mind. Like, just book something and just keep checking, and you never know. George, what's up? What's up, man? Came from Theory's channel and been watching your past vids the last week. First stream I'm catching, though, fire. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Let's go. Yeah, man. We have a lot of fun over here covering celebration, reaction videos, Star Wars gaming, uh, and unboxings and stuff. So I appreciate that, George. Welcome. Welcome to the live. Yo, Josh in the building. Josh, bro, how you doing, man? Glad you can make it. The greatest part of Star Wars Celebration is just being around so many other like-minded people. It's a feeling of belonging that fills my cup. That's the exact thing. That's why, like, this is going to be my fifth in a row, and I don't plan on missing because it's just so comforting and nice to be around, like Josh said, just like-minded people. Everybody's happy, and, like, we all know in the Star Wars fandom, there's a lot of very toxic people, specifically online and stuff. But those people don't have the balls or the money to come to events like this and, like, you know, cause ruckus like they do in comments and chats. So literally, Celebration is like a safe, fun place no matter what you like. And it's just it's just such a vibe, man. Ah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Hell yeah, man. Yo, so we got some supers in the building. Let's go. Shout out to the 813874 with the $20 super chat. Yo, thank you so much. So when we get super chats on lives, we get a little of this guy. My tricks gonna work on me. Only money. Uh, so 
the 813874, man, you got to, we need to get you a nickname. When the VIP tickets do go on sale, does that mean we can also buy general admission tickets or do we have to wait a day? So VIP tickets, if you had VIP in London, you get early access the day before. Now, I don't know if during that early access you could buy regular tickets. It wasn't clear. But if you don't have early access, the day tickets go on sale, once you're, it's your turn to shop, you could buy up to 20 tickets total. And of those 20, four could be a VIP. The most you could buy VIP is four. But you could buy 20 total. So, yeah, man, it really, it really all depends. Um, so thank you again for that $20 super chat. Very generous. And shout out to Parallel with the five pounds super chat. You know what that means. My trick's gonna work on me. Only money. Uh, yo, I play stream Star Wars Hunters. Nice. How is that game? I don't think it's out in the States yet. Uh, was shown at Celebration 2022. Did you see it? Are you interested? We'll release before. Would love to sesh sometime. Yeah, I, I want to try it out for sure. Because I know that's like a, it's like a free game on the, it'll be on Nintendo Switch, right? I definitely want to check it out when it's available, but I know it's only available like in certain countries right now. So, um, yeah, I definitely want to check it out, man. Thank you again for the super chat. Appreciate that. And yo, another one, guys. I I guess Watto is just gonna be here all. My trick's gonna work on me. Only money. Shout out to my brother, nerd affiliated with the dollar ninety nine. Appreciate that, my guy. How you doing? Congrats on 7K. Yeah, guys. So I did hit 7K at like 1 in the morning this morning. So appreciate all the support. Appreciate all you guys. And again, thank you for the super chat, my guy. Appreciate that. All right. Let's see. Let's see where we at, baby. Uh, Malachis says, will you get the Lego gift with purchase for May the 4th? It depends. If I hit on VIP my money might be gone. So I might not go crazy at Lego, but if I don't hit VIP and I just get three day, yeah, I'm going to Lego store to, to make up for that loss for sure. Uh, George says, I got to celebration early last year and made it pretty close to the front of the line to get into one of the main station was gutted to find out on the door. You had to win a spot to go in. Yeah. For the main panels, you have to win to get in. And then sometimes if, if it's not full, then they let some of the standby in. So sometimes people get in, sometimes they don't. So it's tricky, but it's just for that main panel. Yo, Clone Slayer, what up? Welcome to the stream. Dan Demands in the building. Uh, my cousin's been to Japan four times or so. A small trick is you can actually reserve your hotel and pay way later on. I know you brought that up before. Yeah, so... That's why I use Expedia, guys. With Expedia, you could reserve it. There's free cancellations to like the day before, and you don't pay till you check in. So when I book my hotels, I'm, I'm going to be booking three separate hotels. So I'm, I'm going to be booking one in the heart of Tokyo for the first few days. I'm going to be booking one in Osaka for two days. I might even do a trip to Kyoto, so that might be another day or two there. And then when I come back to Tokyo, to Chiba... I'm going to book four days there right next to the convention center. So, like, I'm booking all that stuff early and paying when I check in when I get over there. <laughs> uh, what up, Thomas? Last time, last I checked, we're about three weeks out from being able to book. Yeah, like, that That sounds about right. I, I have a feeling sometime in May is when hotels are going to be able to book, and I think flights, too. So, again, guys, be sure to subscribe. When hotels and flights are available, I will literally be dropping videos letting you guys know, hey, I booked my hotel. Hey, I booked my flight. They're available. Go, 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 go. So definitely uh, be sure to uh, be subscribed, guys, because I cover everything. Cool. Thanks, man. I got one as a backup 25 minutes away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, have something locked in, but literally... The day hotels are available, people are going to book so many things because they're going to think maybe I'm going to go or maybe this person is going to come with me. And people's plans change. And you'd be surprised the amount of stuff that pops up last minute. Like like I mentioned before, guys, for London, I changed my hotel like five times. And I, every time it was like, 
looking at the map, getting closer and closer and closer to I finally was next to the convention center. So, yes. <clears throat> also, unless you plan just to go to celebration, it's probably a bit better to have a hotel or place in Tokyo and just go on to train in a celebration. Yeah, you could do that. But for me, I want my hotel walking distance because, like, if I buy a bunch of crap or say if I'm just tired and I need, like, a mental break, I could just walk to the hotel, take a little power nap. You know, I'm kind of old. I love my mid-afternoon naps. Maybe I'll go to celebration three, four hours. I'm tired. Go back to the hotel, take a little power nap, then come back refreshed. So I definitely want my hotel as close as possible, but only for that Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I think Thursday is when we're going to check into the hotel in Chiba. That way, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're walking distance. And then Monday, we're flying right back to Murica. I'm kind of weird. I need that full day. What full day? Huh? Seven dollars will get you a good meal in Japan, though. Yeah, I see the food is so cheap. Um, I'm and I have a video plan for it. I'm so excited to try food at 7 Eleven. Like all these videos I see of people eating at 7 Eleven, it looks so fresh and pure. Literally, I have a video planned here. I'll show you so you guys know I'm not full of crap. I, and I've been planning like a lot of my videos. I literally have about 35 videos planned while I'm out there. But one of them is, let me let this focus. Come on. Focus. Ah, oh, come on. Usually, it'll, I got to get the right angle. All right, never mind. Just trust me. Just trust me. I'm an honest guy. But one of my videos is 7-Eleven food taste testing. So, like, me, my brother, and probably Ricky, we're going to literally just buy a bunch of food at 7-Eleven and just eat it. Very random, but, like, I'm going to have a lot of fun in Japan. Yes, the pin bag. Oh, yeah. So, a few pins is an understatement. I have, I think, three or four bags like this full of straight celebration pins. So... Yeah, I have a, a problem, an addiction. <clears throat> Josh says we need an official Sith Pop meetup and an official Sith Pop itinerary so we could tag along. Then I don't have to do any thinking or planning for myself. Yeah, we'll probably do a meetup. I just I gotta figure out when, what day. Um, I mean, maybe the Thursday before we'll do a meetup, like kind of by will call. That way it could kind of be like a two for one for people. They could come hang out and pick up their badges and stuff, maybe. Because, like, I think meetups during the three days can be tricky because some people might have, you know, maybe I want a panel at this time. I have an autograph. I have a, a photo op. So maybe the the that Thursday or maybe the first day, but after the show closes. Like, as soon as the show's done at 6, I think it's done, maybe, like, 6.15, we'll do a meetup right outside or something like that. For sure, we're gonna we're going to plan something like that. The four-day art in 2019 was bad, but a lot of other passes had really cool designs. Yeah, exactly. Yep. How much roughly do you save for the pins, bro? I'm ashamed to even say how much I'm going to have to save for Japan. Put it to you this way. The pins are $10 each, roughly like 10 bucks each. So if you want to complete the set, the set is about 50 to 60 pins. I'll let you do the math on how much I spent in London, which is ridiculous. But... I did spend it over four days, so it was like a little here, a little there, so it didn't feel as bad. But yeah, guys, pins are about 10 bucks each, so it depends on how crazy you want to go. So, yo, shout out to Bobby Tinning with the $4.99 Super Chat. My trick's gonna work on me, only money. So, are you planning to visit the Disney parks in Japan, and what kind of swag are you bringing to trade? Oh, good question. Okay, so I'm we're a hundred percent going to Universal for sure, right? Because I like if I could only do one park, 
it'd be Universal over Disney because I live in Florida, so I'm spoiled. I, I could go to Disney whenever I want, even though I know it's different over there. It's, I, I heard it's better, but I'm doing Universal because I want to go to Mario Land and the Donkey Kong Land that's going to open up there next year. Disney, though, I think we're for sure going to go to Disney, though. We, we probably won't spend a whole day there, but we're, we're going to go there because I do want to ride Star Tours in Japan because I've done Star Tours in the States. I did Star Tours at Disneyland Paris and C-3PO was speaking French, which was hilarious. So I really want to ride Star Tours in Japan to see if the C-3PO there speaks Japanese. So I, I need that closure to know. Um, so for So, yeah. And then I already have some swag. I have these pins. So I have, a, it's a, well, it was 100. I've, I've given some out to some people already. But these are my custom Sith Star Wars Celebration pins. So basically, I stole the Orlando colorway logo. And rule of two, I put Sith on there twice. And it's the celebration. So it's just like the logo pin. That you that you get at every celebration like for europe i got the logo pin right here right you see that europe 2023 so it's literally just like the logo pin but it's kind of like my own twist on it so i'll be having this so if you guys see me in japan show me that you're a subscriber and if i have any left on me i'll be trading them giving them out i also will have a bunch of stickers on me too so for london i probably had like six different stickers that I made Japan, I'm going to be making a bunch of stickers. So even if I run out of pins, I will have a ton of custom stickers made that I'll be passing out all three days while I'm there. So, uh, Bobby, thank you for the super chat. I'll see you in Japan. Let's see. Fick fiddle. Yo, yo, my, my guy, big fan, found you through Star Wars Theory. Let's go. Watch the review on the Shin Baddy Saber. Got mine in 10 days. Nice. Yeah, mine came like that quick, too. I was shocked. I love it. Where did you get your Shin, your, your shin Stand Up uh, cutout? <clears throat> so I'll bring it up right now. It's some website, and they sell a ton of cutouts. I think it's called Advanced Graphics, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is it right here. I'll drop the link in the chat. But shout out to Will Diamond Fix. He bought me Shin. But literally, it's this website. Uh, let me drop this. I also have a chopper back there too, but he's uh, kind of hidden. But it's this website. The link is in the chat for you, Fick Fiddle. And they literally have cardboard cutouts for everything. It's kind of insane and kind of dangerous because I almost want to get like have a whole cast of a movie or, or a show behind me. But I also have cats, and they like to scratch and bite cardboard, so I don't want to have too many. Ooh, look at Kira. I love me some Kira. Daenerys Targaryen, baby. But yeah, it, it's a lot of, it's a, there's a lot on here, and they're usually like around 39, 49 bucks with free shipping. So that's where I got Shin from. And oh, look at the Yoda. I wonder how tall is he? We're going down a rabbit hole right now, guys. But yeah, this, this is the site right here. Definitely go check it out. We got to stay focused. <coughs> Sylvie, get out of there. Freaking cats. All right, let's see, let's see. What up, my guy? What's good, bro? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I wish I, I could afford the Jedi Master. Yeah, it, it, it's a crazy price for sure. But, like, if you can afford it and if you could e even be lucky to get it, it's worth it. But, like, you don't have to have it to have a good time. Like, you'll have the time of your life regardless just being in there. It's just the vibes. The vibes and the energy. Uh, Andrew says, I have super high hopes for the merch this time around. Let's hope for a Japanese-style mascot for the show. Yeah, I have a feeling the merch here is going to be insane. Very Japanese-inspired, and I'm looking forward to it. What's up, everyone? My guy in the building. What's up? So cool. That backpack is awesome. Thank you, Rosa. I just bought tickets to Space Con. Oh, my my boy is going, uh, might be going out there. General Kenobi's bunker. So that show is going to be fire. I was thinking about it. If Hewing goes and they do a dual photo op, I'm going. 
like I'm going. But you're going to have a blast at that show. John said, going to Star Wars Celebration Japan, even if they do the next in Chicago or Orlando. Nice. Yeah, me too, man. I'm not missing Celebration. I am not missing Celebration. It is way too much fun. I was watching a random uh, Japan vlog, and this couple had Christopher Lloyd sitting next to them at a sushi. So Chris Lloyd does do shows out there, Tokyo Comic Con. He's done it like the past two years, which is crazy. If Christopher Lloyd can take that flight over there, Mark Hamill can too, you know? I mean, I'm maybe it's different on a private jet, a different experience. Nico, what's up, bro? Uh, Tony, what's up? Starting an episode three poster woo, with Natalie Portman with that private. Nice, nice. Hoping to finish it in Tokyo with Hayden and Hewan. That's sick, man. That's sick. Hopefully, I, I, I see you out there. That way I can see that bad boy in person. That's awesome. Clan Talon, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Just started again to cons the last couple of years. Really can't wait to go to a celebration when they come back to the States for my first time. Yo, Talon, I'm telling you right now, the minute you go to your first celebration, if you love Star Wars, it's going to like change your life. It's going to leave such a strong impression on you that you have you have no idea. I can't wait till you go. Uh, What kind of swag you're making a trade? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I got I got the pins. And then a bunch of stickers. I'm gonna have a lot of stickers, so I'm looking forward to that stuff. The 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 swag trading is so fun. I don't think anyone really knows the rules for the. Yeah, nobody does. Last year's VIPs have not been contacted yet. Hashtag sad. Yeah. Uh, so Tony saw the video link. So no lightsaber, no helmets, no big ticket item merch. Oh, so you mean at the Celebration Show Store? So the Celebration Show Store is just that stuff in that video, like the collectibles from the show with show logos and stuff like that. As far as everything else you say, that's all on the show floor. So there's going to be booths from different vendors, right? So I don't know who's going to be in Japan, but like sometimes Hasbro will be out there, Funko, uh, um, and like other companies that make that stuff. So they'll have that stuff on the floor. Also, you'll have like other people that are like random people who are just selling their collections or maybe they have like a collectible store and they bring some of their merch there. So you will find lightsabers, helmets on the floor, maybe even like some like master replica stuff, some like newer stuff, some custom stuff. So all that stuff will be there, but that's just on the show floor with the vendors. So I don't know how big the Japan show floor will be and how many vendors will be there. It'll be very interesting to see like what the local people who get their own booths bring and sell there. But yeah, that'll be on the show floor. Poppy Ashford, what's up? Hey, would you recommend using Will Call for my badges if I live in the UK and I'm leaving for Japan two weeks before the con? Honestly, yeah, to be safe, because I know a lot of you guys in the UK barely got your tickets for London Celebration, and you guys are over there. So I'm pretty sure all the badges ship from the States. I looked at the envelopes that all my badges came in, and they all shipped from Connecticut. So like me, since I'm in the States, I'm going to risk it and have it get shipped here. But if you guys aren't in the States and you're, you're going to Japan for like a two-week or longer trip, I wouldn't risk it. I would just do will call. Will call always has hours the day before the show starts. So the show starts Friday. That Thursday, you'll be able to go there and pick up your badges. Or will call opens up two hours before the show anyway. You, you'd be able to get there early to pick it up. So you're good either way. Got to use the force to conquer jet lag. <coughs> Facts. What up, Clone Force 99? Fat Mace is about to show up on Dances, and he's he's gonna see Darth Sidious and pull a fat Thor and be like, "Let's kill him properly this time." <laughs> Clone Force ninety nine, that is amazing. I freaking love that, bro. I love that. Uh, Thomas said, "Gotta try Seven Eleven egg sandwich, bro." Trust me. So I don't really like egg sandwiches or egg like 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 whatever. Bro, I'm going to try that egg sandwich because I'm so sick of seeing everybody eat it and the bread looks so fresh. It just looks so good. I'm 100% trying that for sure. 
for sure. Yo, shout out to Josh with the 1999 super chat. My guy. My trick's gonna work on me. Only money. Josh said, I need to be next to you and Pop in the store preview line so we can help each other complete our pin sets afterwards. When uh that's when the meet up needs to be so the Sith fo- following can be a pin meetup. Yo, Josh, you're right. Yo, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you, bro. But you know what? You're right. Once we get the uh, like, so say if we get lucky and get VIP, I know you're going for VIP. I'm going to try to go for it. If we get VIP Thursday, we get that show store preview night. So depending on that, maybe I'll plan to meet up after potentially or maybe before. We'll see. But yeah, if we all go, me, you, Ricky, and my brother, bro, we'll all, we'll all open our blind boxes together, like right outside. Like I'll even record that. That'll be a fun video. Four of us opening blind boxes to see who gets the first chase, to see if we get all the chases. Man, that'll be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. No, for sure. We're going to help each other complete those sets. And then, guys, if you guys are trying to complete those pin sets, all my doubles and extras, I'm going to trade to get what I need or sell them for retail. So literally, if you guys need pins, I probably will have extras on me for sure. But Josh, again, my guy, thank you for the super chat. Um, Let's see. Mike says, 7-Eleven, Lawson uh, stores food. Yeah, Lawson is the one I see all the time too. I want to go eat at that Lawson that's in front of Mount Fuji that everyone's always taking pictures and videos in front of. But I'm definitely super excited for all that food i'm a simple man i don't need fancy food i could eat at these convenience stores gas stations all day i don't care i'd love to come to the states for a celebration but that should be expensive i I know the feeling man this the, the flight to london wasn't cheap and the flight to japan is insane so i'm glad for i can't wait for it to come back to the states and that's when we hit the bars man oh man RMD says, can't wait to try out all the food in Japan. It's cheaper than here in the city. Yeah, man, like freaking Kobe. Like, bro, like the 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 Kobe burgers and all that stuff. Um, That's what that meat is, right? What's that fancy meat that's over there? Is it Kobe or isn't it? What, what is it? What is that meat that is like so expensive here, but is dirt cheap? Is it Kobe? Kobe beef is what I'm, talk- I'm talking about, I'm thinking. Yeah, I want some crazy Kobe burgers, bro, for the low. Rocking the pin on the cutout early X. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chris got his uh his Sith pin. What up, cool guy? Do you have a full suit? What do you mean? Like a a, a clone trooper suit, which I don't. Like a regular suit, like I'm going to a wedding. I don't even think I have a suit like that. No, I have no suits. C3PO absolutely speaks Japanese on Star Tour. So, like, that's kind of bucket list then that I need to hear that because I've heard it in English. I've heard it in French. I need to hear it in Japanese. Oh, of armor. No, I got a bunch of helmets. I love helmets. These are all Hasbro helmets, but I don't have a, a full suit. Maybe one day. We'll see. If it wasn't in Japan, I'd absolutely go to SpaceCon, San Antonio, Star Wars, or Stargate. Yeah, that place is going to be dope. <coughs> Uh, Mike says, do you think Japan will do any pre-celebration sale once uh, tickets have started selling? Just curious how other celebrations were. If yes, how early? Um, So I know for Anaheim and London, they did something called the Road to Celebration where they would sell, uh, they would pre-order a couple things. And I believe it was pre-order for you to pick up while you were there. So like the Road to Celebration, it usually was a t-shirt. So like this shirt right here, actually. This was a Road to Anaheim set, and it came with this T-shirt and three pins. So it was like, it was like I forgot how much it was, but this was a Road to Celebration set. And sometimes they do it where you pre-order it and you could pick it up there, but that's the only way to get it. If you don't pre-order it, you can't just buy it there. So literally, that would be probably like the few months before you'll, you'll see it. But if they do do anything like that i will drop a video letting you know that hey this is pre-order the only way to get this is if you order this now and you can't pick it up while you're there so i'll definitely will cover that 
Andrew says, true story, 2015 was my first celebration. I haven't missed one since. Nice. I've met lifelong friends. I can't wait for 2025. Yeah, man. You meet people there for life. And it's it's so crazy because, like, I remember, you know, in well, Orlando, I don't remember too many of the people. But, like, I remember seeing people in Chicago. And then I saw them again in Anaheim. I'm like, oh, I remember this guy from Chicago. And then I'm in London. I'm like, oh, that's I saw that guy at the last one. So it gets to the point where you're eventually seeing the same people over and over no matter where it is in the world, which is wild. It's super wild. Uh, what up, my mighty wizard, wizard? At Star Wars Celebration London, much of the merchandise at the show store on the first day was sold out. I hope that Japan merch will restock that are sold out. Yeah, some of the stuff sold out. and you, So I know some of the blind boxes sold out, but that was due to poor training of the staff. Because not all the staff members knew the rules and limitations. So some people got more than they should. And that's why things sold out. So stuff like that does happen as human error. But I feel like in Japan, they're going to be more accurate and more efficient. Because I just feel like as a culture, they're more efficient with everything they do in life. So it might be safe to say the staff at the show is, will probably be the best trained staff we've, we've, we've ever seen. So... Love your shirt, bro. What up, Lee? Which day you recommend going to Star Wars Celebration? All of them. Lee, all of them. If I could only go on one day in terms of photo ops and panels, which day you estimate is the best? All of them. Okay. So panels, usually the first two days have the best panels, right? Uh, for photos, usually the guests are always there Saturday, Sunday for the big guests. So like Hayden, Hewen, when they go... They might not go for all four days, all three days. They might just be the Saturday, Sunday. So if you're if you're strictly for photo ops, the safest day would be Saturday because that's usually when all the big names are there. But panels, the first day is usually like the Lucasfilm panel. The second day will probably be either an Ahsoka-ish or a Mando-ish or a Filoni-ish panel is what I'm guessing. But honestly... If you could afford it, try to go as many days as you can because you don't want to try to do one day and try to do a panel. Then you have to run to a photo op. Then you have to run to an autograph. Then you got to run to wait two hours in line for the show store. Try to go as many days as you can. That 168 is burning my eyes. This, this 168.85, bro, that's such a, that's such a good deal for three days. I can't wait to try the Femi, the Femi chicken with, with the Lawson pancakes. What the hell is that? The Femi Chiki Lawson pancakes? Oh, the fat pancake. Oh, ooh. It's like a fat pancake with something on the inside. Oh. That looks good. I can't wait to try that too. I don't even know what that is, but I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Uh, Can you get the badges on the day of? Yeah, yeah. So if you buy your badges, you can pick them up at Wool Call whenever you want. So it could be the day before. It could be the day of. But yeah, yeah, you can pick it up anytime. What up, Gilia Palermo? You really saved my celebration in London. That was my first, so just thank you. Nice. I'm Italian, and it's not always simple to understand all the things. Hope to fly to Japan. Awesome. I'm glad I could help for London, and I will help you for Japan as well. I love Italy. Man, why... I would love a celebration in Italy just so I have an excuse to go back to Italy and I just want to go and just the pizza over there is so fresh and so good. Everything, the July, oh my God. Italy is a vibe. Italy is a vibe. Blackjack, what's up? Congrats on 7K. Thank you so much. I just found out I have to work on me in a second when tickets go on sale, but at least I get, I get to work from home. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. I mean, I work on May the 2nd, but I'm off at 4, So I and I live 
uh, three minutes from work. So I'll be, I'll, I'll have time. But as long as you could be on your fast access computer or best internet access, yeah. August. <clears throat> Chris, I don't know what you mean by August. Wagu, yes. I want to be in a lot of Wagu over there. Also, ramen. I'm going to eat world-class ramen. Yeah, there's a lot of that over there, eh? I used to work at Morimoto. I ate J5 Wagu all day. Is J5 like the fanciest level? Michelin Star Ramen in Ginza. Okay. When do you think Ahsoka Season 2 will be released? Probably 2025, right? Maybe towards the end of the year? Or it would be super dope if they if they like dropped it and we got to see the first episode of Ahsoka Season 2 in Japan Celebration. Like how at Anaheim we got to see the first two episodes of Kenobi. London, we got to see the second to last episode of Mando early where Paz Vizsla died. Rest in peace. That was so sad. So that would be cool if they timed it where we could see uh, we could see it over there. Flights cheaper when doing layovers, L.A., Hawaii to Tokyo. Yeah. Yeah, flights is you got to just definitely use all the apps to see what the best option is for sure. Ferner, what's up? How you doing? Uh, so I regret not getting one of those Blue Harvest caps on London Celebration. There, Yeah. Yeah. So that's another thing, guys. On day one, if you see something you really like in the show store, buy it. Because it'll sell out. Like, oh, Chicago, man. Chicago had this badass Darth Maul, like, bomber jacket. But it sold out quick. So, if you see something, you need it, like, really, really quick. Congrats on 7K subs. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, let's see. I'm there for panels and shopping. Day one is a must. Yep. Everything leaves and arrives on time in Japan. Super efficient country. Yeah, I'm look. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, guaranteed to make lifelong friends. Last year in London was my first celebration ever. What a blast! Fingers crossed to get it all three days. Doctor Sith. I love that that name. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I think uh, as long as you guys are on the site before the tickets drop, I think everyone should be good to get either three day or three single days. Just VIP, good luck. Unfortunately, just found out I can't make it to Japan. Was planning the trip, but massive move. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that, Morgan. Hyped for Ahsoka season. Me too. I love season one. Balin is easily top three. Yeah, so season first season of Ahsoka, my favorite thing was Balin and Shin. Like, the, the fact that they could create two new characters in this very, con somewhat, well, somewhat controversial disney era of star wars because everyone has their take right but the fact that they can make two new characters that felt so star wars that felt so og felt so prequel but were so new and i just wanted more of both of them every time they were on the screen that's a great feeling and i and i want more of that i i hope the acolyte has at least one character like that where it's like that's my dude that's my girl right there like bro shin has been with me for life I love freaking Shin. So hopefully Acolyte gives us something like that where there's a character that way, you know, we could start having new new characters that we love and appeal to us. 40 bucks an ounce over here? Damn. You're just got the barber. Japan hype, baby. Let's go. When is the best time to buy yen for Japan? Hulk smash right now. I'm glad you said that because I actually have it here queued up. So literally right now, I believe the Japan yen is the lowest it's been ever. So like you can honestly go to your bank's website, type in foreign currency and literally, okay, I want to order $300 worth of yen. That's 44,000 yen. Or say if you want like a nice even number, I want $50,000 worth of yen, 340 bucks, boom. And you, you, could, you could order it now, they mail it to you and you could have it. So I haven't got any yet. I've been I'm like more focused on the tickets, so I'm I'm keeping all my money ready for tickets for VIP just in case. But after VIP, I'm probably going to start doing like 
maybe like a hundred a month or two hundred a month for a couple months to just well, I gotta figure out how much I want to have on me, but I'm a hundred percent ordering it beforehand and I'm gonna have it that way. I don't gotta worry about that later. But yeah, just check your bank and you can literally order yen right now if you want. Um, if anyone is coming, hit up some hobby off stores for collectibles. I got a lot of older Star Wars stuff. Yo, Thomas, let me show. I made a Google map of all the spots that I want to go to in Japan. Bro, look, look at my list. Hard off, hard off, hard off, hard off. All these different hard offs, all these different book offs, Surigaya, all these Surigayas, Eco Town. That's like the big hard off book off. More hard offs, Starcase, Nintendo, Pokemon Center, Mount Fuji, hard off. Bro, I'm literally hitting about 50 to 60 hard offs and book offs. I am literally going to get a ton of Nintendo 64s. I want to try to get as many Nintendo 64 games, Super Nintendo games, Game Boy games. I'm literally buying my whole childhood from the 80s and 90s, but the Japanese version. So literally, my map. I have everything mapped out in Tokyo. There's over here by Mount Fuji. There's a bunch of hard offs over there I want to check out. Right. And then Osaka, when I go for Universal, a bunch of hard off in Sudagaya. So you guys can make Google Maps. I stole this idea from the YouTubers Ordinary Adventures. They went to Japan and they did they they did a map like this for everywhere they wanted to go. And I'm like, yo, this is great. So that way when I'm in Japan. I could literally just bring up this map, zoom in wherever I'm at, and be like, oh, we're over here in Shibuya City. There is two stores I want to go to right here. There's the Nintendo stores right here, and then there's Shibuya Sky right here. Boom. So definitely Google, Google.com, make yourself a Google map. You can plan your trip out this way. But, bro, hard off, hobby off, lobby off, house off, every single one I see I'm going into. I cannot wait. Super hype. Pro planning tip. <clears throat> For real, Balin and Shin were so well written. Really interesting characters with a cool angle on the Jedi Sith Empire. Exactly. Exactly. The trees, what's up, man? Much love, folks. Everyone have a good weekend. May the force be with you. Yes, yes. All right, guys. So I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. Um, maybe, maybe like five more minutes and then. I'll be doing another one of these streams, two of these next month. So I'm going to do like two a month from now to celebration. So in May, there'll be two. I'll try to get them scheduled out so you guys can kind of plan for it. But I try to do them on the weekends. That way more people could try to join. And I try to do them early. That way you guys that are international can still hop on as well. But I will be doing those. If any of you guys like video games, um, I do have a gaming channel. And I just finished the Fallout show on Amazon. I've never played Fallout. I, I watched the show. I loved it. And I actually started this morning live streaming Fallout. So literally this afternoon, I'll be playing again at 4 p.m. If you guys want to come join, I'll drop the link in the chat. That way, if you guys want to subscribe to the gaming channel and come check it out, it would be much appreciated. But yeah, guys. So let's see what you guys are saying before I get out of here. I might need to take a nap, bro, before that gaming stream. Ooh, who's your favorite clone? Bro, my favorite clone is a clone that probably, if I told you guys to guess it, you wouldn't be able to guess it. But my favorite clone is 99. Clone 99 is my favorite clone. I love 99. Like, that man had so much heart. And did everything for his brothers. He is a real one. Clone 99 is my favorite clone. Um, then probably like Rex, then Cody. Like, I, I love the OGs, you know what I mean? But 99 has a special place in my heart. And yeah, oh, fives. I, I love fives too. How did I forget about fives? So 99, fives, Rex are my top three for sure. Yeah. Yeah, fives is awesome, man. Fives literally almost stopped Order 66 by himself. I'm thinking 500 USD is in yen on hand is enough. What you think? I think it is. I think so. 
I think it should be. That's that's probably like, yeah, that should be. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I might do a little more because at the end of the day, I'll still use it towards the end of the trip. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Appreciate the international love, of course. I got to show love to you guys. Have a good one. Check out the Fallout stream later. Yes, yes. Great episode. Rest in peace, 99. I appreciate that. Uh, we got great info from you. Thank you so much. Looking forward to the next stream. Take care. Thank you, Dr. Sith. Appreciate that. Clone 99 needs a nap, too. I know he does, man. Maybe that's why I love naps, because we can relate. Hello there. General Kenobi showing up right at the end. My guy, what's up, man? How you doing? Congrats on 7K. Thank you so much. Jack, what up? Congrats. Appreciate that, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate all you guys. So, again, I will be scheduling two more of these next month. So, be sure to come through to those. If you guys are watching on the replay, be sure to comment down your questions if it wasn't answered, and I will reply to it. Um, let's see. Thank you, Rosa. Appreciate that. Should I download Battlefront? I was hyped when it got released, but the reviews weren't great. You still play? I mean, I don't play online. Like, I play, like, the campaign. And it was my first time ever playing it, so I had fun. But I also was spoiled and got the code for free. But it's only, like, 29 bucks, right? So I guess it depends, man. I guess it depends. But at least it's only 29 It's not, like, a $60 game. And if it sucks, you know, that's a lot of money gone. But, but all right, guys. I'm going to head out. Take a little power nap before the gaming stream, but appreciate you guys. Be sure to hit that like if you guys are new to the channel. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next month. Bye, guys.